Hi, I'm Sharon Cam and I'm in Buffet Campon today in uh, near Paris and we are checking out lots and lots of clarinets and uh, choosing one to take home today. I grew up in Israel and also in California. My um, father is a scientist so I spent a lot of time in the States. I studied in New York with Charles Nydick and um, I played lots of concerts already as a student um, and had the opportunity to play with great orchestras um, when I was young, 15 and 16, which is something that is very rare for a clarinetist. Um, and I did the ARD competition in Munich. Um, I was 23 years old, uh, 22 still, and won that competition, which of course helped a lot with the rest of the career and then met my husband, moved from New York to Germany and continued the rest of my life and my career living in Germany as a French system clarinetist, which is sort of a unique thing. But being a soloist lets me sort of um, go my own way and that is a fantastic thing, mm. being able to present this instrument as well in a country where this instrument was not so present before. I've never been in an orchestra ever. Even in school in Juilliard I tried to avoid orchestra. Um, not because I don't like it so much but I don't feel that it's the right thing for me. I love listening to orchestra and I love playing with orchestra and I most of the time play with orchestra solo um, all the clarinet repertoire, adding to the clarinet repertoire if I can um, and play chamber music and recitals worldwide and a lot a lot a lot in Europe. I started on a buffet on an R13 when I was 12 and um, I've tried many many instruments because I'm a curious person and always came back to um, R13 and I find um, if you constantly are reassured that this instrument is correct it's a good thing to still continue to try in order to have this reassurance this is the right thing for me. I had the opportunity today to come fix my instrument and um, catching up with the brand, as I said, knowing what's up here and um, since I'm a very proud buffet artist my whole life, there's nothing to hide about that. Um, it's nice to be welcome here and to be taken seriously, being asked questions, what do I like? Um, it's interesting for buffet maybe to find out what an artist that has been playing buffet is up to, um, what am I planning to do, um, what is missing. I was asked a lot, a lot of questions and um, it's fantastic to have a sort of relationship with a brand that is anyway my brand. As one of the really the most excellent instruments I've played in a long time, I have to say. It just sticks out. When an instrument sticks out, you're always so happy. In Israel, everybody was playing buffet. It was um, the professional world was playing buffet. Um, there was no question about it and um, I wanted to start clarinet with 12 and um, the my first teacher just was in Paris with the orchestra and went and bought a clarinet. That was as simple as that. And it was an art team. <laughs> the sound is immediate, it's just there. Without having to do anything. I'm recording a new CD in February, which is going to be called Bel Canto, with um, Italian um, arias, uh, vocal music written for clarinet, Rossini and Verdi and Puccini, and lots of fun. And we're taking it on tour. We're going to be touring um, a year from now. Um, yeah, lots of European countries, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. <laughs> 